Hello, everybody. My name is Austin Little. I am so excited that you've decided to join us for the Freedom Equity Group webinar. And I am very excited to have the chance to share this information with you right now. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to dive right in. We'll get right in the middle of it. So what is Freedom Equity Group and what does it mean to you? Let's take a look. We're going to start off with this retirement statistic here. You can see on the left, for every 100 Americans starting at age 25, when they reach age 65, now you could read all of those, but skip down to the bottom right because that sums it up. Only four out of 100 have incomes of more than 45,000 a year in retirement. What that means is 96 out of 100 people are either dead or dead broke in retirement. That is absolutely incredible. So to tell you what we do, our goal is to get you out of the 96 and into the four. And unfortunately, there's a 96% chance that you're a 96 percenter. <laughs> but the good news is you don't have to stay that way. And I'll tell you this, we can get you into the 4% one of two ways. One is through the products and services that we offer. And two is through the business opportunity that you're going to see. Myself, I take advantage of both. Many others do the same, but you don't have to. But either way, we're going to get you out of that 96 into the four. That's the goal. I know that's something you want. Nobody wants to be in that 96. So how do we do that? Let's get into it. We're going to address three of life's problems. Now, these are financial problems, the way we're speaking about them. But problem number one is what if you die too soon? Okay, now everyone kind of laughs at that one because that sounds bad regardless. But financially speaking, the way you do that is you die while other people are still dependent upon your income. You have a spouse, you have kids, whoever it may be. That's how you die too soon financially. Problem number two, what if you live too long? Now that one sounds hilarious, that doesn't sound possible, <laughs> but how do you live too long? You outlive your money. You see, most retirees, they're more afraid of outliving their money than they are of death. That means people would rather be dead than broke, which is incredible. And then problem number three, what if you become ill? Now I don't mean, you know, you get a cold or you get the flu, I mean seriously ill, like, you know, cancer, stroke, heart attack, something serious where you can't go to work that kind of situation. Let's look at the solution for this. We have the solution for all three and it's life insurance that you don't have to die to use. Now I'll be honest with you, when I first heard that, I didn't see how that was a solution for those problems and truthfully, it didn't excite me. But that's because I didn't understand it yet. And then I kept my ears open, I kept listening and I was blown away by what I learned. So keep your ears open and prepare to be blown away. So what if you die too soon? I think you most likely know how we can help with that one. Life insurance, pay your beneficiary, take care of them there. That's been there for a long time. Number two, what if you live too long? There's a potential tax-free income for life for retirement that we're gonna get into. And yes, you did hear me correctly, tax-free income for life. I'm gonna get into that here in a few minutes. But we're gonna start with this number three. What if you become ill? It's something called the living benefits. See, traditionally with life insurance, the way it works is you pay for that insurance, you know, all the time, and then you only get to access the money if you die. And so really, you never access the money, but your beneficiary would then get it. That's the way it's always worked. But now, there's life insurance that you don't have to die to use. And it was actually a doctor's idea. For the sake of time, I won't go into the whole story. But what he saw was these patients whose families would be devastated financially, and then the patient would pass away, and the family would get a bunch of money. And he said, man, they don't need the money after they die, they need it while they're still alive to prevent that financial devastation from ever taking place. And so with living benefits, you can get the money while you're still alive. It's absolutely incredible. And as you look at how this can really impact people, every year, over six million people in America are diagnosed with a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Over six million in America alone, and that's just those three illnesses. Now the good news is 70% of those people will not die. That number surprised me in a good way, but 70% live. But of those that live, more than 50% go bankrupt in the process. The real number there is 64%. That means almost two thirds of the winners, if you will, go bankrupt. And I don't think it's any secret why you get that illness, you can't go to work, 
So the income dries up. Now for most people, that alone would be enough to bury them financially. But then you add all the medical expenses on top of that and it's absolutely devastating. So there absolutely has to be a better way and there is. I'm gonna share just a couple customer stories with you of, of our company, real customers from us. And I love these stories because they're so powerful. Amy, she's a single mom with two little girls, worked as a registered nurse. Naturally being a nurse, she really understood the value of the living benefits. Well, she was diagnosed with breast cancer just a few years into her policy. We sent her a check for $413,000. I want you to ask yourself if you agree with the right side of the screen there that we made a difference. You better believe we did. Incredible, incredible difference for that mom and her little girls. Dr. Jonathan here, this is a unique story because he, you know, he's a successful doctor, healthy guy. He really wasn't that interested in the living benefits. What he was interested in was the tax-free retirement that we're going to discuss. But I want you to notice what it says there. He only paid one month of premiums before he was diagnosed with throat cancer. Sent him a check for $734,000. And he had great medical insurance, but he said even after the insurance, his part of the expense was well over $100,000. Do you think that check made a difference? Absolutely. The biggest thing I hear from people that experience this is that it removed all financial stress. Now, how many of you know that when you're trying to recover from something serious like cancer or a bad illness, stress is not a good thing for your body? Absolutely. We all know that. And so the difference this can make on multiple levels is absolutely incredible. Now, we really are on a living benefit crusade, and that crusade is to replace the old insurance with the new insurance. First of all, the living benefits have no extra cost. And then the bottom there, less than 2% of policyholders have living benefits. So almost nobody has them. And that's simply because most people don't know that they're available. So it's about 149 million life insurance policies in America right now. And 146 million need to be replaced. Now, when I saw this, I thought two things. Number one, well, for, first of all, I thought, if everything I've heard is true, I want everyone I care about to have living benefits. But this slide right here told me, number one, they probably don't. And number two, from a business perspective, that is an incredible opportunity. We're talking about almost 150 million people out there, that's an incredible opportunity. And so we're gonna transition now out of living benefits. I hope that makes sense to you, I'm sure it does. I think you can see why that's so powerful but we're gonna transition into retirement savings. And this is incredible. You see, for decades, millions of Americans have saved money within their life insurance policies, and they've evolved where there's some pretty incredible retirement opportunities. Truthfully, I think this is the most understated slide in the whole presentation. What this should say is we're going to save your retirement, not help your retirement, not fix it a little bit. We're going to absolutely save it. And if that sounds dramatic, stick with me for a few minutes. You'll see why I feel that way about it. Red line versus blue line. That red line right there is the S&P 500. So it's the stock market. And that represents $100,000 invested 1999 through 2015. Now that red line right there is what almost all Americans retirement funds are tied to. Now what's fun about that is in the up years of the market, you get all the gain. But what's not so fun is in the down years, you get all the loss. You see, that line can be fun if you're gonna retire at the right time, but what if you're gonna retire at 2002 or 2008, 2009? We all remember that one. Well, that's not so fun. I've talked to a lot of people who weren't able to retire when they wanted to because of those down years, especially 2008. So what do we do? How, how can you get around that? What we do is called indexing. We put your money on the blue line. You'll notice when the market goes up, you get most of the gain. But when the market goes down, you get none of the loss. You're protected against all loss. Absolutely incredible. And you can see the difference there. In just 16 years, that's a $122,000 difference in this example. Well, most people save for retirement a lot longer than 16 years, you know, generally 30, 40 years. Imagine what kind of difference there would be as that played out in the long run. Absolutely incredible. I ask every person I ever meet with, do you want your money on the red line or the blue line? I've not met one person that said red line. That should be a clue. Here's another clue for you. You know, success absolutely leaves clues. 
Warren Buffett here, the third wealthiest man on the planet, and without a doubt, the most successful pure investor to ever live. He has two rules of accumulating wealth. Rule number one is never lose money, and rule number two is don't forget rule number one. You see, everybody laughs at that because it's so simple a first grader could understand it. But the reality is most people have never had a retirement savings vehicle where that's actually possible because most people are tied to that red line. Unless you get on the blue line, that's not possible for you. So indexing is where you get that upside potential without the downside market risk. Absolutely incredible. And until I saw this, I didn't even know that was possible. Another big advocate of indexing is Tony Robbins. He wrote this book in uh, 2015 called Money, Master the Game. In it, he said, invest like the wealthy where you participate in market gains, but are guaranteed to never lose when the market drops. Again, everybody loves that idea, but most people don't know where that's possible until they see what we do. So there's a couple major risks to your retirement. The first one is market risk. Well, we just discussed that. I think you'll agree we wiped that out by getting your money on the blue line instead of the red line. But the next one is taxation risk. And this really doesn't get discussed anywhere nearly enough, but we're gonna discuss it right now. David McKnight wrote a book called The Power of Zero. It's all about getting in a 0% tax bracket in retirement. And no, that does not mean that you stop earning income. <laughs> That's not the way we want you in a 0% tax bracket. That's not the fun way. So let me read you an excerpt from this book. He quotes Congress in the book. Think about that. He's quoting Congress. So they said, if Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid go unchanged, the rate for the lowest tax bracket would increase from 10% to 25%. 25% would rise to 63%, and the 34.9% bracket would go to 88%. And this book was written a couple years ago that 34.9% bracket has already gone up over 39%. So it's already beginning to creep that way. Now, truthfully, in our political climate today, most people don't seem surprised by this, but every now and then someone says, Austin, come on, that's never gonna happen. Well, not too far in our rearview mirror, these were the tax rates in America. Look at just that middle bracket, 69%. Can you imagine in the middle tax bracket giving 69 cents of every dollar you earn to Uncle Sam? Not a chance, but that's what we used to do. You see, it's a path we've been down before. Now, to be clear, I'm not telling you this will happen. But what I am saying is we don't know what will happen. So I'm going to show you how you don't have to worry about it. That's the key right there. You see, one of the things they reference is Social Security, and it really is a broken system. This will blow you away. In 1945, 42 workers supported every one retiree. Today, three workers support every one retiree. Well, that's not as good. In 45, the average life expectancy in America was 62 years old, and benefits did not start until age 65. They literally put this in place knowing you would die before you could see the money. Unbelievable. And today, you can see the average life expectancy is 85, and benefits can start as young as age 62. So your expected participation back then was negative three years. Today, it's 23 years. You see, that trend can't continue much longer. That cannot sustain itself. And that's not my opinion. That is pure math. Now, let's look at what taxation could actually do to your retirement account in the form of real numbers. Let's stop talking about it and let's put some numbers to it. What if you had $1.5 million in your qualified account? Now, to be clear, a qualified account is one of these tax deferred retirement plans. Your 401k is the most common, IRA is the next. Anything with that tax deferred status where you're going to not pay taxes now, but you'll pay them later in retirement, that's a qualified account. Now, most people would be thrilled to have 1.5 million in there, by the way, and so that's a pretty good start. At the current middle bracket, you're going to pay taxes in retirement. So at that current bracket of 25%, you'd be left with 1.125 million. Now, most people seem pretty happy when they still see the two commas, but you know, that 375,000 could sure buy a nice retirement home. And uh, we'll just leave that. And then that possible tax rate, you know, Congress said it would go to 63% if things go unchanged. Again, I'm not saying it will, but what if it did? You'd be left with about a third. Now, I know you can't respond to me here on this webinar, but just ask yourself, 
can you afford to give up two thirds of your life savings? I've yet to meet anyone that says yes to that. And even those that could afford it certainly don't want to. <laughs> but, you, you know, I'm a big advocate, and this is what we do here at Freedom Equity Group, of getting that taxation risk off the table entirely. That way, it doesn't matter if tax rates are 6% or 66%. It doesn't matter to you because you're not subject to it. That's the key. And we're going to show you how to do that. Unfortunately, most people never have that chance. Most people are in a qualified account. And if you're in one of those, let me show you how it really works. You have a silent partner, but you take all the risk, you put up all the money, you pay all the fees, your silent partner gets his percentage every time you take out money. I know this is sounding really fun already. By law, he can increase his percentage any time he wants. He's revenue hungry and he's 19.2 trillion dollars in debt. It's your favorite uncle, Uncle Sam. I ask everyone I meet with, if you were starting a traditional business and this was the contract with your partner, would you sign that contract? I've never met a person that says yes, but over 100 million Americans have already signed that contract with Uncle Sam. Now, I know it's not because they're unintelligent. They're just uninformed. They don't know that there's a better option. And so that's what we show people. And that's one of the reasons we say we really are on a crusade because what we do is incredible for people. So let's put a bow on this. Let's show a real life example of what most people end up with in retirement versus what we end up with in retirement. It's a tale of two brothers. Our story begins with two brothers, both age 35. Both are saving $300 a month after taxes. Both earn an 8% interest rate for the same period of time. You can see all numbers are equal. They're just using different vehicles. Brother A believes in the old way, gonna save in a qualified account, get a tax deduction now, pay taxes later. It's a good old 401k. Brother B, he believes in the new way, saving in an index universal life policy. That's just the technical name of what we do, IUL and he's going to get a tax-free income later. So you can see Brother A, he's putting in $4,800 a year to his 401k because he has that pre-tax benefit, and he's getting a 25% employer match, which is a fantastic employer match. Most people don't come close to that, but we're giving him, a, you know, we're giving him some optimistic numbers here. And so he's got an additional 1,200 working for him there. Then he's going to only pay $560 a year for his life insurance, and that gives him a half a million dollar death benefit. That's a 30 year term, and so that just means in 30 years it'll expire. And then he has no living benefits. Now, Brother B, he's given nothing to Uncle Sam, so no contributions to a 401k, no employer match whatsoever, but he's combined his insurance and his retirement here, so he's putting 3,600 a year into that insurance. He has the same half a million dollar death benefit, and his will not expire, it'll go as long as he lives and he has living benefits included at no cost. So brother A has about 6,500 working for him. Brother B has 3,600 working for him. Who made the right decision? I think you know where this is going, but just on this slide alone, it's kind of hard to tell. So let's look at the results. Brother A has just over 700,000 in his 401k, not bad. He has no more insurance that expired like we said, but he has a lot of money sitting there, so he'd probably argue he doesn't need the insurance and he got 36,000 in tax deductions along the way. Now, Brother B has 366,000 of cash value in his policy. He still has that half a million dollar death benefit, and he still has his living benefits. He got no tax deductions along the way. Here's the key. It's not how much you have in your account, it's how much you get to use in retirement. So let's look at the results. Brother B can pull out a $67,000 annual income, tax-free, for the rest of his life. So if he dies at age 100, he would have received $2.3 million and he would have left his family 4.7 million, both free of taxes. I'd say that's a pretty fantastic retirement, but let's look at what the 401k gets brother A. To get that same $67,000 annual income, he has to withdraw 90,000 a year because remember, he still has to pay taxes to Uncle Sam. And so he pays 22,500 in taxes. I want you to notice we left him in the 25% bracket. So we assumed that taxes did not go up. In my opinion, we are being very generous to Brother A. But in nine years at age 74, he runs out of money. Which brother do you want to be? Everybody says Brother B. 
everybody. Now, I want to remind you, the 401k, every now and then people have a hard time believing this because they say something like, but Austin, 401k is the most common retirement vehicle in America. How could it really work like that? Well, I want to remind you, 96 out of 100 people retire dead or dead broke. Sounds to me like the most common vehicle is not the one you want to be in. Remember, we're going to get you out of the 96 and into the four. It's an incredible thing once you understand it. So who's our market here at FEG? Well, how many people do you know who want to retire with dignity? You're right. Everyone. I've yet to meet anyone that says, no, I'll just take that living under the bridge gig in retirement. Everyone wants to retire with dignity. That's what we specialize in. So what do we do for our customers? We take a simple needs analysis, and I won't spend much time on this, but basically we figure out the true need for them and their family. A lot of people we meet with are very underinsured, where if someone passed away, then their family would really be in a tight spot. And there's also a lot of people that may be overinsured. Maybe they're really paying way too much for insurance, buying way more than they need, and they could be putting some of those dollars away for retirement. Simple version is we help them figure out exactly what needs to be in place for their family. Then we help them fund that for retirement. You know, when people understand this, they want to get as many dollars as possible onto that blue line. And so we help them look at all those current expenditures that they have, you know, their life insurance, their different retirement accounts, tax refunds, all those different things. We help them come up with a plan for them that they can afford that works for their budget. That's going to set their family up for success. And what's fun about that is so much of what we do is replacement spending. And it's a great thing when you can take dollars that someone's already sending out the door and you can put them in a better vehicle for them and their family. And so that replacement spending is a wonderful thing. Now I want to ask you a few questions. I wish I could actually hear your answers, but just answer them to yourself for me instead. Question number one, would your family and friends be interested in protecting themselves with living benefits? Everyone says yes to that, so I'm going to assume you did too. Question number two, would your family and friends be interested in having a tax-free retirement? Again, everyone says yes, so I'm going to assume you did too. And question number three, would you be interested in earning additional part-time income? Most people say yes to that one too. Now, what I love, and this is as sincere as can be, when I saw this, I knew I would share this with my family and friends whether there was any financial incentive for me or not. Why? Because if something happens to them, I want them to have living benefits, and there's no way I'm not gonna tell them how to get a tax-free retirement and how to protect their retirement from those down years of the market. Knowing about this and not sharing it with them would be like seeing their house on fire and not kicking in the door to you know, save them, let them know, and get them out of there. That's really how I view this. But the good news is you don't have to tell them for free. I'm going to show you how you can get paid very well to do that. So first things first, how do you get trained? You know, this is a lot of information. It's probably a new thing for you. How do you get trained so you can really be set up for success? Well, first of all, you join the team. Join Freedom Equity Group. That's a one-time $125 charge, no recurring fee. And that's really a technology fee. Gets you several websites and marketing materials. Everything you need to be up and running in this business. And then you want to start building your team. You know, I mentioned earlier, we're on a crusade. Well, don't be a one-man crusader. It's hard to lead a movement alone. And so you want to start building your team. Share this with people that you think would like to hear this information. And then we're big believers in on-the-job training. So you're going to observe three training sales with your trainer. And, you know, the way I equate this is if you didn't know how to swim, do you think you'd be better off watching five hours of video on how to swim or spending an hour in the pool with a swim instructor. Absolutely, an hour in the pool. That's what we do. We do on-the-job training. You'll go out and observe the training sales, observe the process, learn how to do this business the right way. And then you get a license. You do have to have a license to do what we do. And that goes through the state. That varies a little bit by state, but it's about a couple hundred dollars just about anywhere you live. And so all said and done, and those charges are over the course of a few weeks, but all said and done, once you're at that point, it's been roughly $300. You're 100% ready to go up and running in business. And for completing your training, you get a $900 training bonus. So about $300 in, $900 out, pretty good swap there. And now you're at the point where you can really start having some fun because your training's done, you've learned some incredible skills, and it's time to get after it. 
So I'm gonna give you a couple promotions here. I wanna show you some part-time, you know, what you could do part-time. And this might look like several promotions, but it really happens very fast. This is pretty early on in the process. You can see you don't even have your own color yet. You're still in the gray. But we have you there, regional manager, great part-time position. Let's look at what you could do. Now this is an income calculator. It might look a little busy if you're not familiar with it, but those red boxes ought to help you out. So you can see you're there at regional manager. It's just you. And we're gonna assume that you do two average sales a month, just two, making an annual income of $47,500 for two sales a month part-time. Now notice all those zeros below you there. That represents your team. You have no one, it's just you doing two sales a month part-time. Now myself and many others have done two or more sales in a day on multiple occasions. So I can assure you two in a month truly is a conservative part-time effort. You're not doing anything crazy. Very, very realistic. 47,000 a year. Absolutely the best part-time gig I've ever seen bar none. Now, if you were, and again, I wish you could really answer me, but just answer this to yourself. If you were doing a business part-time and you're making an extra 47,000 a year by just helping two families a month in your spare time, do you think some people would want to do what you're doing? Absolutely. So I'm going to keep you at that same rank, making your same two sales, but I'm going to assume that you've now found four people that want to work with you. Just four, not 40, not 400, four. You've taught them to do exactly what you're doing. You know, if you can learn how to do something, you can teach someone how to do it. So they're also making two sales a month. You're earning 99,000 a year, probably still as a part-timer. 99,000 a year, you and four people, nobody doing anything crazy. All conservative, just good average part-timers. I think you'll agree with me, <laughs> is the best part-time gig in America. Now let's give you one more promotion. Let's start getting serious. You have a color now, you're a regional vice president, RVP, and we're gonna assume you're a little bit better at what you're doing. You've probably stepped up your game, four sales in a month. Now, if you understand our training process, really the best way in the world to do four sales in a month, if you remember those three training sales, you find one person that's excited to work with you, they buy the product from you, so that's one sale, and then you do their three training sales. So that's three more, one plus three is four. So some people would see four sales in a month and think, oh, I have to meet four new people every month and sell them. Not really. Find one person every month that's excited about making 50 grand a year part-time and then train them. Four sales a month. And you can see over there on the right, just from that effort alone, you're making $10,000 a month. But you have a team in this example, six people total. So you added two. So you have a total of six people. You could all sit at your kitchen table together. And they're all still just doing two sales a month. You're making a quarter million dollars a year, you and six people. And not one of them is a superstar. Truthfully, you aren't either. <laughs> but you and six people, you're making a quarter million a year. Now, if you're making a quarter million a year with a small little business like this, you're probably full time now, you're probably not part time anymore. But if you're making a quarter million a year, do you think some people would want your gig? Do you think some people would see what you're doing, catch on? and say, I can do that too. Absolutely. So you're still at RVP here, but you're still making your four sales, but we're gonna assume that you found some more people. And really, this probably just means that more time has gone on in your team and your business is now maturing. And so you have 12 people, okay? 12 good part-timers, and they may each have, you know, one, two, three people working with them, something like that, small little team. But between them, on, all, on their team, each of them, they're doing five sales each. So that's not each person, but each little team leader there, they have five sales coming out of their team. You're making just over half a million dollars a year for that effort. Now, let's take this one step further. Okay, you got one more promotion. You're now a senior vice president, okay? If you're at that part, you know, at that point, excuse me, making half a million dollars a year, do you think you could find a few people out of those 12 that would say, hey, I want his job. I want her job. I can do what you're doing. Show me how to do that. Absolutely. So we're going to assume here as time has gone on, you still have the same 12, all that. We're going to assume that you found three people that wanted your gig. They got promoted to that RVP level that you were previously at. And you'll notice there, 
their teams are only doing 30 sales a month. You're doing 64, they're doing 30. Now that's not because they're not as good as you. Really, that's just because they haven't had the same amount of time to mature that you have. So it's a younger team. You're making over a million dollars a year at that point. Over a million a year. Now let's go one step further here. National Vice President, we let you uh, finally stop doing your four sales a month. And by the way, the four sales a month is not a requirement but we are big believers in leading by example, showing the troops how it's done, you know, right there on the front lines, if you will. But once you're making a million dollars a year, you know, we'll let you <laughs> stop making the sales up there. And so now you found three more that hit that same rank of RVP. So you have six, still just doing half of what you do. And then we've allowed more time. And so they each found two. Extremely realistic, extremely conservative, and they're doing even half of what your people were doing making $2.3 million a year. Now, I had one guy tell me one time at this point, you know, Austin, there's just no way that you should be paid that much for this. That sounds too easy to be making that much money. And I said, you know, the person that adds the most value to the marketplace gets the most return to them. Would you agree with that? Of course you would, because it's a fact. The more value you add to the marketplace, the more comes back to you. Well, I want you to notice in that plans per month, your team down there is responsible for 360 sales a month. So that's 360 families every single month that you're protecting with living benefits and that you're setting up a tax-free retirement and you're protecting their retirement dollars from those down years of the market. You are absolutely making an incredible difference in the marketplace and in the world. And you're making an incredible difference out there for the people that you're helping. And so you absolutely are producing at that kind of level. And I love that. This gives you a chance to really impact a lot of lives. And you'll notice national vice president right there, we only have you in middle management. If I took this all the way to the bottom, you would not sleep tonight. Now I love this as well. Why work for just commissions? There's an equity share opportunity. I'm not gonna spend much time on that. But once you enter our $100,000 earner club, you actually are an equity holder in the company. So you get equity, which is fantastic. And then we have Super Bowl rings you can win. You can see there's four levels there. It starts with 100,000 a year. And the ring really is the thing. This picture was taken in June in Las Vegas at a big convention. There were 75 ring earners there on the stage. And we finished the year with right at about 100. And so the growth has been tremendous. Absolutely incredible. We have about 100 six-figure earners in the company or above, and the company's goal is at least a 1,000. And so while we have a fantastic start, we've got a long ways to go, and we're always looking for more people that want to be one of those ring earners. We, of course, take world-class trips. We reward our people very well. I'll give you just a couple stories here of people that are really making it happen. Look at the top right there, Neil. He made $128,000 in his first eight months. He was a nurse, got excited about what we were doing, made 128,000 his first eight months. The bottom right, Lori was a mortgage broker, made 150,000 her first year. And then go back up there to the top, the bald guy there. I love his story. He literally quit high school to work at McDonald's. Thought he'd found his dream job at McDonald's. Not an exaggeration. Well, his dad got into this business, shared it with him. We paid him over $300,000 last year. And there's so many stories like that. I could tell you so many more. But I love that there are, and I don't mean this about them as people, I actually mean this in a complimentary way, but there's just average and ordinary people out there that are succeeding in a very big way with us. You know, you don't have to be super intelligent or have the highest level of education or, you know, haven't been successful in business in the past. You just have to be hungry and be excited about what we're doing. And I love that because it's really set up where the average Joe like you or I can go succeed in a big way. So we keep it very simple. We just ask one simple question. Where do you see yourself? There's generally about three types of people. Person A says, I see it. I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. I know why you're so excited. I'm all in. Person B says, hey, I'm interested. I like it. It sounds good, but I have some questions. Person C says, look, I get it. I see why you're excited, but it's not for me at this time. You know, that's fine. We still love you. Person C, I would encourage you. If you don't have living benefits or if you don't have a tax-free retirement, talk to the person that shared this with you. 
make sure they at least get you set up there. And then that person B, once again, talk to the person that shared this with you. They can get those questions answered. And you know, if you're one of those people that you like it, you might be intrigued, but you don't fully understand it. Let me encourage you, make sure you get your questions answered. You don't want to miss this thing simply for a lack of understanding. Get your questions answered, make sure you understand it, and then you can make an educated decision for you and your family about whether or not it's right. But we really live out what it says there on the bottom right. Be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. We really are a team here at FEG, and we're doing some incredible things. I know without a doubt, you know why I'm so excited now. I think you can see the impact that we're having on people's lives. And I absolutely love that. We do an incredible thing for the people we share this with. And there's an incredible opportunity for each of us to really, really change our financial futures and do something unbelievable for our families. So if that's something that resonates with you, if that hits home with you at all, talk to the person that shared this with you. And we would love to lock arms with you and do something very special together. That's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you very much for your time. God bless.